Welcome back, Sammy Rips, Sunday morning Rips. Man, beautiful morning out. Me and the wife in the garage right now hanging out. I said, I got to make a video. We got a busy day today. We're going to go to Medieval Times with family. That's dope, man. Medieval Times is a cool place. I've never been there. Never have been to Medieval Times. A lot of you guys have. It was on the cable guy. <laughs> that Jim Carrey movie, that's how y'all know the 90s of Medieval Times. But So we're going to give that a shot today. I got to say again, Uncle Colton, much, much, much love. Man, you guys who watched that Friday night, Sammy Ribs River Sessions, dude, the amount of stuff he hooked me up with, just dope, just awesome. So, I had to do that again. Me and the kids are working on our birthday package to send to you now. You know how it goes. Your birthday's in, what, Wednesday? Is this birthday Wednesday? Your birthday's Wednesday, you're going to get the package probably a uh, half a year if I'm lucky. No, I'm joking. We're going to try to get it out quick because you know how we are, man. So, no, I just want to say again, man, much love for that. That was cool. Those how much are dope. I'm going to order the plastic cases to put them in, build some shelves on the walls. It's on now. So, the reason I'm doing this video is because a few of you have requested <laughs> and do like the Sammy Rip story time. Story time with Sammy Rips. You can't go wrong. So, the three people that said they liked my story time, for me, that's like 3,000 people saying they like it. So I'm going to do another story time with Sammy Rips. We cannot, I'm not going to use any names or exact places because I don't got consent from some of these people. And I got to watch the stories I tell too because YouTube will shut me down for sure if we tell all the old school stories. 90% of my friends are out there watching like, yeah, don't tell that one, don't tell that one, don't worry. I will not. So this one I'm going to tell, I'm not going to use any names but all you guys who watch this channel and know me and know where I worked back in the day and everything, blah, 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 you'll know this story and you're going to love it. So we're going to get right into it. This story happened at a place I worked in 2009. Now, there's a person, I call him Gary. You know who you are if you watch these. He was with me. This, this is a great story, man. And uh, the other gentleman who I worked with, I'm trying to use his name, uh, you guys know who he is. He, he uh, worked with me up there for many years. Uh, you guys know. I was up at Costa's, okay? I can say where I work because sound, sound knows. So I was up at Costa's, and the guy worked up there for many years. You guys know him. He's just he's the village idiot, but he's too smart for his own good because the guy's super intelligent. But he's like common sense-wise, it's like takes him a minute, but like book-wise, everything. So we know who this guy is. You guys know who he is. He's uh, got relation. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. And this story makes a lot of sense because this is a great story. So the year is 2000. What year was that? Man, I don't think my kids were born yet. I might have been married. So I will say 2009. It was 2009. I'm up at Costa's getting everything ready for the day. My good friend Gary's up there. You know you are, sir. Missy, love you. Go cougar hunting. <laughs> He's up there with me. And uh, the other gentleman is up there with me. And me and uh, Gary are getting everything set up. And, you know, the gentleman's helping us. With the cooking line, you know, getting set up over there. We're getting, whatever, just getting everything going, you know. So, <laughs> me and Gary are over doing something. Oh, we're doing bread. That's right. We're making dinner bread. Sorry. I couldn't remember what we are doing. So, we're getting, because we make homemade bread and all that. We're getting the bread going. And I hear the gentleman over in the cooking area getting set up. I hear him yell the waitress's name. So, the waitress at the time was Katie. He's like, Katie, Katie. You know, <laughs> the, dark, the deep voice, Katie, your food's up. And I'm... I look up at Gary, and I'm like, what the fuck's this guy doing? You know, like, what, what, is he? Uh, so I come around the corner, long story short. I come around the corner, and he's got in the window, <laughs> ready to be served. Now, mind you, it's not even 345 yet. There's not even a waitress there. The ticket was hanging up from the night before. And he's got two seafood platters, like $60, $70 seafood platters, in the window, ready to get it served. And I looked at him. I says, what? Yeah, I'm trying not to swear on these as much anymore. My wife had to talk with me, and my mother did too. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, Katie's food's up. I says, well, for one idiot, we haven't even been open yet today. There's not even a waitress here. Those are from last night. And the, like, I'm trying to swear, the look of fear and panic just hit this man's face. Like, the fear was stinking off his bones. Like, you could just tell, stressed. And so he just grabs it. He is eating sea bass, shrimp, sweating, scared, not enjoying any of this badass food. Just panic. I don't eat seafood, as you guys know. I'll cook you some of the best seafood you ever had, but I, will, I don't eat it. I'm just not a seafood guy. So my buddy Gary's trying to help him out because at this point we feel bad for him. Because, you know, if, <laughs> if the owner walks in and sees this dude making 
80, you know, 100 and some dollars worth of seafood before the restaurant's even open. He's going to call him an idiot and a few more choice words. And you guys didn't remember that back in those days. Yeah, that was going on. So this man is sweating. He is panicked. He's like, oh, he's breathing heavy. Like at some point, I'm like, is he gonna have a heart attack? Like, I can't let this go on any longer. I gotta, I gotta put into this. I'm like, dude, 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 stop, stop, stop. He's like, no, man, I, I gotta go all seen before my uncle gets in here. There goes a little hint too. And so I'm like, dude, just put the rest in to go. Take it home to Graham and Graham. Whatever you gotta do. I'm like, it's, it's fine. You know, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know if Sado ever knows about this story. So if you do watch this, Sado, don't yell at JD. I'm sorry. I should have told you this years ago, but. Just how panicked and scared he was. That was that was worth the fuck up, right? Oh, I did it again. That was worth the mess up right there. Just how nervous that man was. So that's that does it, man. That does my story. He took the rest of the food home. Everything was fine. He didn't have a heart attack and die on us. So, but those of you guys that worked up there with me that still work up there with me and know who this dude is I'm talking about. He is a beautiful man. If you're watching this, I love you, but I got to tell you stories on here, bro. You've been my friend for a lot of years. I will do another one of him. Because I, I probably could do like a whole segment on these stories, but I'm not going to. So we'll do another one on him for sure. But that's the one for now. We call it the panicked, sweating seafood. Just a complete mess trying to save his ass. So it worked. We took care of him. Like I always said, we'll do another story time. Leave in the comments below if you like this story. If you want more story times or if you think I'm an idiot. Honey, that does not mean you. <laughs> Don't let my wife comment because, yeah, I'll get ugly. Like I always say, much love. Peace out. We'll see you soon.